So there's a question that I get asked all the time about Microsoft Excel, and it deals with inputting dates inside of a list. Users come to me and they say, hey, I got this big list inside of Excel, and each record I need to insert a date. Is there a tool built into Excel that I can just pick the date from? So rather than entering it manually, is there a date picker that we can use? Well, in the earlier, earlier versions of Microsoft Excel, Excel used to have a date picker. That date picker has since gone away. But we have an add-in that we can activate inside of Excel to bring a date calendar picker back into our Excel experience. Let's take a look. So open in front of you, I've got an example file I'm gonna use. And feel free, you can download this file. You can hop down into the description of this video. Look for the officenoob.com link and you'll find a post where you can download the exercise file so you can follow along with me or just use it to practice what we're gonna be covering right here. Again, just write down inside the description of this video. And while you're down there, if you enjoy this video, you learned something new, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That tells me you're enjoying it and you want more content like this. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. That way you get updates about new content that we post here to this YouTube channel. All right, so once you've downloaded the file, it is called calendar add-in hyphen zero one and it's an Excel file. All right, so you can see I got a little list here, nothing big, it's got a few columns, name, project name, start date, completion date, the number of days, which is actually a calculation. We can see that right here. Essentially just subtracting the two dates to give us the number of days between the start and the completion date. Pretty simple formula. Now, the question is, I need to insert some dates here. Rather than me manually inputting it or even having the, the need to go down to my taskbar, to go down to my clock and to go look for specific dates. Oh, what was Wednesday two weeks ago, right? What was that date? And now I gotta go look at the calendar and try to figure that out, right? Well, rather than that, we're gonna introduce the calendar add-in. Watch this. So first step, we're gonna go up to our insert tab top of the screen. And on the insert tab, we got a section in here called add-ins. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into get add-ins. Now I've already installed it on the system, but I wanna show you where you need to go to install it inside of your copy of Excel. So I'm gonna to go to get add-ins. Inside the office add-ins, I'm gonna to go to search and you can type in mini calendar. Mini, like small, right? Mini calendar. I'll hit the little search button here, give it a moment to look. And the very first one that shows up, mini calendar and date picker, you can hit the add button to add it to your copy of Excel. Now, like I said, I've already done it. It's already been installed. If you haven't done it already, make sure you hit the add and go through the couple of steps there to install that add-in into Excel. Now, once it's added, your next step, you'll go back to insert, go to my add-ins. I'm gonna hit the little down arrow here. And this time, there's my mini calendar and date picker. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And here's my nice little calendar. Now, it is an object, kind of like a shape that you throw inside of Excel or a chart. It's an object that floats on top of the Excel worksheet. Now, we can resize it. It's got the little resize handles there. Uh, but it's got the nice little calendar with some navigation at the top to go through the various months. It's got some options down below that you can customize the calendar experience. But now, if I select a cell, for example, I need Daffy Duck Project B. When did Daffy start on that project? Well, it was on the 6th of May. So I can hop over to my calendar with that cell selected. I'll click on the 6th of May. Daffy was in here on a Saturday. Hmm. So, and it automatically added it into that cell. Now, if Daffy had completed that project, I can go to completion date and I can pick the completed date. Let's say Daffy completed it on the 17th and it'll automatically add it into that selected cell. How cool is that? We got this nice little interactive calendar that we can place wherever we like inside the worksheet. And I select a cell, I hit a date, let's say Porky Pig's gonna start this one on the 22nd, and it populates that date into the cell. That's pretty slick. Now, that right by itself, like I said, pretty cool, right? Entering those dates, 
In the past, I'd go grab my calendar off my desk or I'd go down to the system calendar and I'd have to go look for that date and, oh yeah, Wednesday was the second or whatever it was. And I'd go have to input that date value. But here I've got the nice interactive calendar. Just click on it, drops it right into the cell. Now I'm going to throw one more thing at you and I'll make this quick. I'm going to keep this video short. What I would really like is when I click into a cell that needs a date, anything inside the start date or completion date, as soon as I click into a cell, then I want the calendar to show up. And if I click out of it, like I click into the project name or name or someplace else in the worksheet, then I want it to disappear. Well, in order to do this, we have to bring in a little bit of Excel VBA or essentially a macro to do this. Now, I've already written this code, Again, back into the description, if you get back to that link, you'll not only find the Excel document, but there's also a notepad document in there where you can copy and paste the code to complete this task. And I'm gonna make this quick. First step, we need to give the calendar a name. This way we can reference it within our VBA code. To do this, we'll go to our Home tab. On the far right, we'll go to Find and Select, and I'm gonna go down to the Selection pane. This will open up a nice little window on the right. Shows me any objects that I have in here. If you have shapes or charts or whatever, it'll show them in here. Mine's called Add in One currently, but I want to give it a new name. I'm going to call it Calendar. Make sure I spell that right. So just straight up Calendar. So now the next step is I'm going to open up my Visual Basic window. To do this, shortcut key on my keyboard, I'm going to press Alt. F11, Alt and the function key F11. This will open up the VBA window. Let's see, I gotta deselect the chart there. And it popped over on the other screen for me. But there it is. So now what I'm gonna do is find my sh one worksheet in there called Sheets Projects. That just represents my worksheet here. I'm gonna give that a double click. And then I've got my notepad document. Again, make sure you download the notepad document. It is called Excel Calendar VBA Code-01. And I'm just gonna copy that code, Control C. I'll go back into my worksheet and I'm gonna paste it in. And this is our code to get this thing to show up when we click on a cell in there and to go away when we click in a cell that doesn't need a date. So with that done, I'll just close my VBA window and watch this. If I click into the date, there's my nice little calendar snapped right over there. Any cell, it'll move around with me. Very cool. If I click into a cell that doesn't need a date, it goes away. How cool is that? So again, insert, get add-ins, look for a mini calendar. You can add that in there. You can now use it to insert dates into cells. And if you'd like, get that VBA code, paste it into the worksheet object, and you've got this nice interactive show hide calendar feature. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this. You learned something new. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you get great content like this. I'll see you in the next video.